Hi, I haven't posted a video in a year, and I haven't posted on this channel in two years. My last video was about some wifey's trap that I tried to escape poorly. Same time, I need to be careful not to accidentally activate any one of these redstone components. Damn, I sounded a lot different, but it's still me, I promise. If you've watched this channel, you know me from my prison series back when I was Mithridak. When I started making those videos, they were meant to be like fun Minecraft challenges with a story mixed in, because I always loved filmmaking and I thought that I could express it well with videos. Over time though, the prison community became extremely hostile towards me for not making realistic escapes and maybe just for being popular. They began to dox me and my family and a bunch of other things that made me disenchanted with the entire community, so I left it after that. My family hasn't exactly supported me since I came out as a woman and we've cut ties, but I still don't want my siblings to be harassed by silly people online because of some Minecraft drama. So after I left, I kept making videos to wrap up this silly little story that I was telling because I decided that I wanted to come out to the public and I no longer wanted to be known by the previous persona that I was wearing, this mean, edgy, and nasal sounding teen. I took off the mask and it was amazing. I was met with so much support, which I was not expecting. <sighs> so you've got to understand something. I was raised in a super fundamentalist, Christian, conservative, homeschooled household my entire life. I was socially and mentally stunted from years of Mennonite rhetoric. Everyone I ever knew was a Christian, and therefore everyone I ever knew was against being gay, being trans, among other things. To me, the entire world was Christian, and I was breaking a vow with my holy creator and going against his wishes by coming out as who I was. That's why in my coming out video I was so scared and apologetic and unsure with my wording. I hadn't been able to grow as a person. Everyone's acceptance still makes me so incredibly happy to this day, so genuinely thank you so much. Coming out was the best decision that I've ever made in my entire life. But I had growing pains. Originally, I had this little story I was telling that would smoothly transition me from being Mithridate to being ivory. It was that Mithridak would kill the god of the world, break the barrier, and in doing so, take off the mask and reveal that it was ivory under the mask the whole time. Unfortunately, at the time, a lot of my fans didn't take it that way. They interpreted it that I had taken over Mithridak, or that I left him trapped in this abyss, or that I killed him. So some of my longtime fans began to loathe me as if I wasn't the same person and I had cast off their favorite creator. They would say things like, I miss Mithridak, and when is Mithridak coming back, and she ruins everything she touches. Once I realized this, I went super hard the opposite way and said that the old story and the new story was not connected, trying to dissuade people from saying those things, which it sort of did, but that wasn't really the problem. So you know that when you receive hate online, it seems so much more amplified than the amount it actually is. I experienced this hard. Even though I had a lot of hate, I now know that it was most likely just a bunch of fans who were just like me before I came out. Scared, repressed, developmentally stunted kids who may have even been trans themselves without knowing it, who were targets of religious or social indoctrination. And also, it was a political topic when I came out. For some reason, apparently some people get really riled up when they see people just living their lives, not hurting anyone. Hey boo, boo, you're going to hell, you tr Hey man, what's your problem? They are transgender, they're gonna sexualize my kids. What? Yeah, they're coming after my kids. That's literally a kid. Right, that's what I'm saying. We should eradicate them like Michael what? Knowles What said. the hell? That's not how we should act. Uh, who are you? We should show lovingness and kindness to people of all religions, sexualities, and genders. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I can agree with that. And just let them know that they're gonna go to hell for eternity if they oh don't join Oh my the god, they're literally just Love standing the sinner, there. They're not, not hurting the sinner. Yeah, true. This sort of reaction made me very frightened and irrational, but to get to the point, after a year-ish of being ivory, some IRL stuff came up, and I had to practically abandon my YouTube channels and streaming. During these last two years since coming out, I've genuinely grown so much as a person. I'm not the same scared little girl who is paranoid of rejection. Now, my voice sounds better. IRL, my transition is going well, and practically every person I meet automatically assumes I'm a woman. It's boosted my confidence 
happens dramatically and I've been the happiest I've ever been in my life. I'm finally able to live as who I am. It's been amazing. To any closeted trans people who don't think that they can transition solely because they think that they'll never get the figure or the voice that they want, let my story be an inspiration. You can do it. I mean, just look at my voice back then versus now. Wait in the hallway for me instead of waiting in the pit like the handbook says. And I didn't even take voice training lessons. I just used YouTube. Just take it slow and you'll grow into the person that you want to be. I'm no longer afraid of people calling me Mithridak to get under my skin of bad actors, of people misgendering me on purpose, of anyone trying to tell me that I'm someone who I'm not. Because I know who I am, and so do they. I'm finally at peace with my own soul. I was scared of uploading on this channel because I hated my old videos, holding a version of me that I no longer identify with. I've contemplated deleting this channel so many times, it's uncountable. But I've decided not to, not just to preserve the history, to give others an example of how they can grow, but also because my idol and the person who got me to start making videos left a comment on one of my videos before he passed. And I want to preserve his memory as long as I can. And that brings us to today. One more thing I've grown in is my content journey. If you make YouTube videos, I'm sure you've had this small voice in the back of your head when you're brainstorming video ideas, shutting down some videos that you actually want to make because it wouldn't be algorithmically viable, wouldn't be catchy enough. Well, I had that too. All I ever wanted to do was make story videos, films, experiences. But the only way I could support myself is if I watered them down, made them quick, snappy, clickable, and at full throttle at all times, not to lose the viewer's attention. But I like when things are quiet. I like when things are still. I like making stories. For the past almost two years, I've been working on my magnum opus, a Minecraft cinematic show, a period drama, made almost entirely in Minecraft. It's gonna be completely and utterly me. This is what I really want to make. It's raw, unfiltered, and something that I've poured my entire soul into. It means incredibly much to me. The first episode is going to premiere tomorrow at this time. Due to complications, it's not going to be monetized. So please support me through Ko-Fi if you'd like to help me keep making the show. You're about to be redirected to the trailer now. Thank you for listening to me.